Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly of lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some jewelry, stationery, and a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, please subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Today I have something a little bit different for you. It is the Pusheen box. So if you don't know who Pusheen is, you've probably seen her. She is a very cute, chubby little gray tabby cat cartoon and this is a seasonal box so I went ahead and got the winter box because I saw that it had a baking theme it's about $44 per season plus $6 shipping so you're looking at about $50 every three months or you can do the annual subscription which brings it down to around $40 a box plus shipping so it's kind of out of my usual aesthetic because it is so cute and kawaii some of the items in the box aren't always of the best quality, but it is just kind of fun and whimsical. And I've only seen a few unboxings here on YouTube, so I wanted to share this one with you. And I'm very excited to see what's in there. I have seen a couple of spoilers. It's kind of funny because one of the things that they did share on their Instagram doesn't really seem to go with the baking theme to me, but hopefully they have curated it and it all makes sense when we open it up. So. They actually sent me the shipping notification this morning, even though I got the box yesterday. So very good shipping system. Um, it came wrapped in plastic, so it protected the box because the box is always adorable. There's a little Pusheen right here. You can see she's kind of got like some almost like Christmas lights, but she also has kind of a unicorn horn, so it's like a Christmas unicorn Pusheen. But then the detail that I always think is the most cute is this little foot pad on the bottom. So very cute box. I could see how if you were a collector and there are a lot of Pusheen collectors, there is a Pusheen buy, sell and trade group that I am a part of. And that's what I'm sort of relying on so that I know that even if there are items in there that I won't necessarily use and enjoy, I can find a home for them. So we're going to open it right up. And so there is usually a vinyl, and I don't usually collect those, so that's something that I will probably resell. And then there's usually a wearable, so they ask you your size. Now, I thought with the baking theme that it might be an apron, but it looks like it is not. So let's check that out first, because that's what's catching my eye, because it is a very bright yellow. So let me just slide this little guy off, if I can, try not to rip it. Um, so it looks like a sweatshirt, and I told them size medium because, again, I really, I don't know why I was anticipating an apron. I just thought that that would work. But in the few unboxings that I have seen online, there's always these cute little tiny girls, and they get the extra small, and they still seem to be swimming in whatever the item is. So I went with the uh, medium, and it's pretty cute, you guys. It's got this little embossed image of Pusheen with a little chef hat and she is baking something up. It is a pretty bright yellow if you can't tell and it just looks like a really basic sweatshirt. There's um, a little spot like a little discoloration here on the front of the shoulder so I might have to reach out to them and see what's going on with that. We'll get to test out their customer service but here it is. I think it would actually be really cute as a cropped sweatshirt. Now I'm not the craftiest person so maybe I can uh, find a pattern for that but I do think that would be really cute and just something to be around the house in. So we're gonna put that off to the side. And like I said, there does look like there's a little discoloration. So I'm gonna reach out to them after this and see if that is supposed to be there. And then this is pretty cute. So there's Pusheen and she's baking with all of her friends. And then on the back, it shows you all of the items. So we'll get into that. It doesn't look like there's actually a plushie. Sometimes there's a cute little plushie that goes with the theme and I was kind of looking forward to that, but that's okay. So far the wearable's pretty cute. It's not necessarily something that I would wear out of the house, but I could definitely see lounging around in it. Now this is funny because I feel like every box this fall has been doing these little recipe cards. They really want us to get into baking, but it's pretty cute. It's got that same image of Pusheen right up here, a little cupcake, and then on the back it's different friends you can see Pusheen in a little apron and then down here with her buddy Stormy so that's cute I don't know how many of us actually use recipe boxes and recipe cards anymore but it might be fun again to give to someone who is just getting into baking 
That said, let's look at some of the other items. So this, the lid on this is broken, but these are some little cupcake liners in this pretty little aqua color, and you probably can't quite see it, but there are little pusheens outlined there in white, so that is definitely something that is useful. I really liked this theme because I used to bake a lot, but now I'm realizing I haven't baked in years, so maybe this wasn't the best box for me after all. It's kind of funny because then they have this baking theme, but if you are already a baker, you already have items like these measuring spoons, which are really fun. I do like the colors. They're plastic, but they feel pretty sturdy. Um, I could actually see giving these to someone with a little one because those make really fun toys and it doesn't say that you can't use them that way. So that might be kind of fun or even just as like a present topper. Those are kind of fun. They make a lot of noise. So again, they might be something fun for a little one to play around with. So this is the other spoiler that I saw that doesn't make a ton of sense to me as baking related. It is a vacuum. It's like a little mini vacuum. So you put in some double A batteries and then you kind of drive Pusheen on this little hockey puck over your desk, I guess, if there's some debris or over your baking surface, if there's crumbs or flour. Um, I'm sure it probably doesn't work that great, but if you do have kind of a whimsical, fun desk setup, I could see that being adorable there. It's not too crazy. It's just a plain pusheen, no um, theming, so could be cute. This looks useful. This is a little pusheen pot holder. So let me get up nice and close so you can see the little pusheens on there. It's pretty thin, so I don't know how much I would use it over the other pot holders I have, but pot holders are always useful, so that is kind of cute. And then, let's see. Oh, this is cute. This is a little spatula with a little pusheen on it. And I love that it's gray, so it's actually the color of pusheen, and I just like the little detail. That seems really cute. Doesn't really say anything. Most of the stuff is um, made in China and then the company that does this, they do all kinds of boxes for different fandoms. So again, I'm going to be interested to see how their customer service is when I reach out to them and ask them about it. And then this is the vinyl figurine. This was the other spoiler that I saw on Instagram besides the um, vacuum. And I'm just going to pull it out and keep it in the plastic because I know that some people do collect these. I am not one of those people, so I will probably be reselling this. Um, it's pretty cute, though, in terms of little vinyl figurines. So it's just Pusheen as a cupcake. So she's kind of sitting in a little um, cupcake liner bed with a little dollop of whipped cream on her booty. So that is actually really cute. Some of them kind of get a little bit crazy, like there was a zombie Pusheen. Um, which it just kind of looked like this weird gray blob to me. <laughs> um, let's see. And then the very, very last thing, and this was actually kind of poking out of the bottom of the box, so now it makes more sense what it is, is this little um, trivet, or it's more of a, it's a cooling rack for your baking. So this definitely goes with the theme. And again, and it's that, that pretty aqua, it's got those tiny little feet so that you can put, it's not quite big enough for like two cake rounds, but I guess you could put like bread or a few cookies on there if you were letting them cool off. And this is pretty cute. It feels fairly well made. It's just kind of tiny. So I think that this and probably the spatula and the, um, it's not an oven mitt, but a pot holder. I think those are probably my favorite items because they're cute, but they're also useful. They seem fairly well made. I think that the vacuum might be a little bit janky. We'll see. And then cupcake liner is always useful. Recipe cards, not as useful. I kind of think that's like a cheat item because they just have to print something up on, on cardstock. And then Actually, the sweatshirt's really cute. I'm just a little bit bummed that there's kind of a weird discoloring on the shoulder. So before I like chop it up and try to make it into a crop sweatshirt, I want to reach out to them and see if they'll send me a replacement or see what they have to say. Let me know what you think. I know it's a little bit whimsical and kind of silly and they're definitely not things that you would necessarily need in your house, but let me know what your favorite item was and if you would like me to continue getting this box. I actually kind of had fun with it um, and hopefully I can re-gift or sell these to a home that will use all of the items. I might use the spoon though. I can see myself using the spoon. All right, you guys, have a fantastic day. Like I said, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe, and I will see you very, very soon in my next unboxing.